listener production. Hey, Sasha Barbagat with you for this bonus episode of The Briefing. The Academy Awards are the pinnacle of Hollywood glamour and achievement. They've been around since 1929. They're also known as the Oscars and the events hosted by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and rewards actors, directors, producers, writers and others for their achievements in their chosen fields. This year's ceremony is on March 10, Hollywood time. It'll be early March 11 here. This year, everyone's talking about our very own Margot Robbie not getting nominated for her role in Barbie. Ryan Gosling even coming out with a statement saying there's no Ken without Barbie after he got nommed and his co-star didn't. Well, in good news, there is an Aussie who'll be frocking up on the night. Nikki Bentham is an Australian producer nominated for Best Live Action Short Film for her work on The After, and she's here with me now. Nikki, thank you for joining us on The Briefing. First off, a huge congratulations. What an achievement. Look, I want to know how you learnt you'd been nominated. Did you get a phone call from someone in Hollywood? Was it an email? Did you read it in the paper? What was the process of finding out you'd achieved this incredible feat? Thank you so much. I'm very excited. I found out yesterday by watching the live broadcast of the nomination announcement that they do from LA. And because the film had been shortlisted, um, so it was already had been voted to be down to the last 15 in the category from hundreds and hundreds of submissions. So we knew that we had a kind of, I guess it's a one in three chance because it goes from 15 down to five for the nominations. So we tuned in yesterday and were very eagerly and nervously kind of, you know, watching to see if we were going to be in the top five. So it was just an amazing moment. Yeah. Were you with your team? Was there champagne on hand to pop and was there kind of a bit of a celebration? There was, yeah. I was actually with my husband and with one of the people from our team, someone that works, Emily, who works with me at Neon Films. And the director had decided that he wanted to stay at home and be with his wife. Because it's kind of, I guess it's that sort of thing where either this is going to be a really great moment or it's going to be a really sore disappointment. So we were kind of like, oh, it could go either way. But I did have some champagne on ice just in case. And I've been doing dry January, but it was a pretty good excuse to get (laughs) drunk in the afternoon. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Hey, look, you're going to travel to Hollywood for the ceremony. Talk us through the process. You're going to have to get a frock, shoes, makeup, hair, all that fun stuff. Do you have a team that helps you do this or is, you know, is this all on you to figure out and get your flights and accommodation and transport and all those fun things? Okay, so I've never been to the Oscars before, so this is first time at the event for me and absolutely definitely first time nominated, hopefully not the last. Everyone keeps asking me about the frock. It seems to be like the biggest question and the biggest thing to work out. I haven't quite got my head around that yet. And I probably need a bit of time and quite a bit of help to make that decision. I'll probably ask some friends that, you know, costume designers or stylists that I know if maybe they could help me out because it's kind of a big decision, I think. (laughs) I mean, I might never get to walk up the stairs onto the stage, but I'll still have to walk the red carpet. So it's got to be, it's got, I, well, for me, I think it's going to be a dress that I feel comfortable in and it kind of feels like me. I think we uh, take for granted that, you know, big celebrities, Hollywood A-list, probably been to a few Oscars before, know the ins and outs and the do's and don'ts. For someone who's a first time nominee and going to the Oscars for the first time, did you get an information pack or guidance of lists of things you can and can't do? And is there some sort of info pack that they deliver to you and go, congratulations, here's everything you need to know? There's no info pack that I've been made aware of yet. Having worked in the film industry for quite a long time, I'm lucky enough to know a few Oscar nominees and Oscar winners. So I have been kind of on the phone to people asking for tips and tricks. Um, But I think from here on, it seems like the Academy themselves are very good at communicating 
to the nominees. And so I believe that um, we, I mean, we had an email from them yesterday saying congratulations and that all the information will be forthcoming. So I, I believe that they kind of let us know everything that we need to know. Tell us about the after. Tell us what it's about, the process of making it, how proud you are of it. The After is a short film. The director is a photographer, a renowned pho- photographer, who's became quite well known for a lot of his protest images and especially some that he did around the Black Lives Matter protests in London. He's also photographed all sorts of celebrities and done fashion photography. He's got a really beautiful eye and a really amazing way of capturing moments. And I met him a few years ago through a mutual friend to talk about maybe creating something to do with his protest imagery. And the more we talked, the more I realized he's just absolutely full of stories and loads of great ideas. And he's also got this really distinctive perspective on the world and and an amazing vision. So I said to him, have you ever thought about making a film? And and he said yes, and had this idea for the after. And it's a film that explores the dark crevices of grief, basically. And we meet a young man, a, a father, a family man in London on just a regular day. And what unravels is a tragedy, a shocking incident out of nowhere that kind of really changes his his life in an instant. And then we just experience with him his process of trying to reconnect with the world and reconnect with um, with himself, having experienced a profound loss. It sounds beautiful and something that the experiences of the director have obviously shaped how this short film has come about. I wanted to ask as well, you know, obviously you're successful, you've been nominated for an Academy Award, but would winning change your career at all? I assume that it would open some more doors. And I think that so much of this industry is about who you know. And so I think that that opportunity for networking and new contacts, I'm sure would be invaluable. It sounds like a bit of a cliche, but I do really think that in a way being nominated is a win anyway, because I mean, just the fact that, you know, whatever happens, we've been Oscar nominated and we're going to get to have that experience and have that journey. And I think um, through it all, get to meet loads and loads of people, not, not least all of the other incredible nominees in all the categories. So that is super exciting. We saw recently footage of Gwyneth Paltrow in an interview talking about what she uses her Oscar for, and she says she uses it as a doorstop. And we heard from Kate Winslet, who revealed she leaves her Oscar in the bathroom of her house so that visitors can, you know, grab a hold of it, look in the mirror and practice their acceptance speech. Have you dared to dream about what you'll do with your Oscar should you win one? I saw that article too about Kate Winslet, and I thought that was very smart and very generous of her to <laughs> to offer that up for her guests. I just can't imagine if I had one, I just can't imagine that I'd ever let it out. I think I would just carry it with me everywhere I went. I couldn't imagine putting it down at this point. So uh, I don't know, I'll have to I have to think about that one. You've obviously done a good job since uh, you've received this incredible accolade, nominated for an Oscar. Nikki, congratulations again. We will be watching on March 11, our time here in Australia. And fingers crossed you guys get it. Thank you so much. Everything crossed. That was Nikki Bentham, an Australian movie producer based in London who has been nominated for an Oscar for Best Live Action Short Film for her work on The After. And the Academy Awards ceremony is 10am Australian Eastern Daylight Time, Monday, March 11. We'll all be cheering for Nikki. That's all we have time for. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to check back tomorrow morning for our chat about whether The Voice has impacted our approach to Australia Day and changing the date. And if you'd like to get in touch with us here at The Briefing, perhaps you've got an idea for an episode or you'd like to have your say, you can head to our Instagram page and send us a message. Simple as that, The Briefing on Instagram. And don't forget, we've also got a brand new broadcast channel behind The Briefing. You can join that by clicking the link in our bio. Listener.
listener.